Hey, it's Paul from Howard2Network.com and 101labs.net. I just wanted to announce the launch of 101 Labs Cisco CCNA, and it's uh, if my pen's working here, it's version four to match the latest version of the exam, which started in February 2020, at the end of February. So I just wanted to talk you through the book briefly and what's in it for you. If you've never heard of me, I've written a few 101 Labs books. Some are by myself and some with the CCIEs and a few of the uh, simplified range of books. I used to work for Cisco TAC and I've written um, books as I've said and I started knowing nothing. Howtonetwork.com is my website 101labs.net and in 60days.com which I'm just about to update. Um, if you're interested in IT certification and careers then please uh, subscribe and hit the bell and I'll send you as much information as I can as often as possible. There's a problem with Cisco books and um, when I first took my CCNA exam in I think it was the year 2000, 1999 and 2000 and back then there was only the Lamley book and the Cisco book. I mean it's almost the case now actually. There's a big problem. Um, full of theory, great, a lot of them, well some of them are good for theory, others um, not so good. You got a few practice exams. There's zero labs in all of these books. So you've got a few code snippets and a few commands you could type in, but a full scale configure and test and access list, for example, you're not going to find it in the books. And they still haven't done it. What's it now? 20 years later. 20 years later, still no, still no labs in the books. Now I've written CCNA Simplified, um, which is one of my two Cisco books. I think um, there's about 40 mini labs and about 30 full labs. There's probably more of each, I can't remember. So small labs where you just try a command and then 30 labs where you're configuring full scale networking protocols, troubleshooting, that kind of stuff. So that answered that, but I still felt there was a need for a dedicated uh, lab book. Typical cost per attempt is the uh, for the CCNA is around three to five US dollars, give or take. Obviously, that can change depending. Now, the typical person takes two to three attempts, so that's around a thousand dollars, which is shocking. That's a lot of money for most of us. So, if you want to know how to pass, and I don't know much about anything really, but I know how to get other people through their exam, your theory, which is your book or um, videos, if you if you watch theory videos. Then you take practice exams, uh, then you do hands-on labs, and then you think, well, hang on, uh, I need to read up some more theory on, for example, NAT. So NAT, you read up the theory, you'll do your practice exams, maybe not just about NAT, but all sorts of stuff. You'll do a NAT lab, and then you read the theory, and this plugs the gaps, and eventually you'll start off knowing 10%, and then you'll go around in this uh, method here and you might jump up to 30% of what you need to know. And then eventually you're obviously going to get up to high level knowledge. But there's no way you will get to 100% without doing labs. It's impossible. So um, here's a warning. The syllabus for the CCNA exam you can download from the Cisco website for Cisco certifications. I took it. When it came out, there are a ton of topics not listed in the syllabus. Um, what can I say? It's it's bad and um, it shouldn't happen, but this is the situation, so I need to warn you. I did a video on it if you want to scroll through my earlier videos. This is the um, contents page, or some of them from the book. I've broken it down into the syllabus items for the new exam. Um, I don't have the uh, code, it's 200, sorry, I'll get the book out, it's 200301. So I've broken it down into the main um, uh, main topics. I haven't put network automation because there's no labs on Ansible or um, the, uh, the network automation stuff, so we can't lab that up. So um, network fundamentals, your network access, which is layer two, VLANs, LLDP, um, default gateways on switches, IP connectivity, so all your routing, and IPv6 routing, 
uh, ERGRP, uh, what can I say here? Not in the syllabus, but I've put it in the book, and that's all I'm allowed to say. <laughs> I can't say too much. IP services, uh, all the stuff I think is in the syllabus, pretty much. Or um, I'll put it in there because I think you're going to be tested on it still. Loads of security stuff, including, uh, I can't see it down here, it might be on the next page, your wireless security is also covered. And then I've put uh, Challenge Labs, so I think there's there's probably more than 12, but I've only put down to number 12 here because I've, I've run out of room. So you're configuring multiple protocols and services. And then some bonus labs, so um, I did it A to G. So all these labs, and every single lab in the book has got a solution, configuration and uh, verification. So you can see, um, cable in and configuring frame relay, Frame really isn't asked in the syllabus directly, however, the type of network, which is known as um, non-broadcast multiple access, is tested. So this is the st sort of stuff you've got to be careful about. So I'll show you through all that. So you must do your hands on. Around 50% of your marks will be from practicals. Even if you don't get a practical in the exam for CCDA or CCMP, it's your practical knowledge they're testing, so you still do, do need to do it. Uh, shocking how hard they are. You're going to struggle to recall commands if you haven't done your hands on. And this is the same for all of the certifications. Configure. Uh, you're the, so they'll ask you commands, how to install, how to troubleshoot, or uh, discover devices with the discovery protocols. Doing labs uh, reinforces whatever you've read in your theory book. You're putting your knowledge into practice, and this is the cycle I mentioned. You'll see how they work as you're configuring it, and you'll test your ideas and understanding. I launched it last night, actually, and it's already hit number one. And so this is the Kindle, and this is the printed version. So they're at number one and number two of the Amazon bestsellers for Cisco. Uh, here's a few reviews for the last version, so that would be version 3 is the last version. Uh, by the way, there's a link in the description for version 4. Don't buy an old version. So uh, I've got all these people through the exam, and these are people that have bought the book, and they're verified purchasers. You can read those for yourself. Do the labs. You can do it on Packet Tracer. Bear in mind, Packet Tracer does not support some commands or services. Um, that are listed in the syllabus. So you've got to work out uh, maybe a GNS3 or get your own Cisco devices or an online rack of some sort. Here's a sample lab, say lab 17, you're configuring standard VLANs, so not extended VLANs and catalyst switches. You'll have a switch and a switch connected with an Ethernet cable. So you can do this in Packet Tracer or on GNS3, well probably not GNS3 actually for this. Um, or a live rack if you've got access to a live racks, but packet trace is fine. So I'll tell you what we're doing, the objective, what's the purpose, what's the topology. I've listed the VLAN names and numbers and which ports you need to use, and I walk you through every task. Uh, you have a go yourself, and then what you can do is go through my uh, walkthrough guide. I walk you through every single step, how to create the VLANs, how to make it an access, Airport, how to assign it to the VLAN. So every single step you get walked through so you can get the same solution I did. If you're one of the first 500, you'll get two 50 question exams that will prep you for the real CCNA exam. That's for the first 500. So um, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, hopefully pretty soon after me launching. Uh, there's a discount for the first week. I think each version is $10 off. Um, Amazon tweaked the prices slightly, but it's around ten dollars off. There's a link, like I said, in the description if you want to click on it. When you've got it, please just take a screenshot of your proof. You can go to uh, 101labs.net and then go to um, help, and there's a help desk, and you can just like drop a little ticket with a screenshot or a link to a screenshot if you've got that kind of software, so I can see, and then I will send you links to the free exams. So, um, oh, by the way, um, 101labs.net has got uh, video courses with 101 labs for um, CCNA, CCMP, Wireshark, Linux Plus, the Linux LPI, 
IP subnetting, network plus, and there's more coming. We're writing um, new courses at the moment. So if you want to have a look at that, uh, that, there's a live Cisco racks 24 seven that support all of the stuff you need for the CCNA and CCMP. And you can put a, a discount, discount code in YouTube. All right, so that's all there is. Um, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the book. If you do get the book, drop me a review on Amazon and um, best of luck with your exam. <laughs>